Previously, we learned how to detect objects with bounding boxes. However, you probably sense that the box is not accurate enough because our objects are usually not shaped like the rectangular box. But sometimes we will need to extract the exactly object with its shape, and that is semantic segmentation. As what is named for semantic segmentation separate a given image with different semantic regions. For example, we semantically segment this original image on the left with areas labeled as dog, cat, and background on the right. So what semantic segmentation essentially does is to classify each pixel into a category, either dog, cat, or background. For benchmarking dataset for semantic segmentation task, we will introduce two most famous ones. The first is Pascal Visual Object Classes dataset, or Pascal Walk. It contains around 10,000 images with 20 semantic classes, or 20 plus 1 if we add the background in. The semantic classes include bicycle, bird, boat, bottle, bug, car, cat, person, etc. And another famous benchmarking dataset for not only semantic segmentation, but also instance segmentation is this Microsoft Coco dataset. So what is the difference between instance segmentation and the other tasks? If we look at the plot here, well, the previous object vaccination dataset focus on first the image classification or the object bounding boxes localization or semantic pixel level segmentation. The COCO dataset focuses on the semantic individual object instance. So COCO is short for the common objects in context. It introduces a large reached anatode dataset comprised of images depicting complex everyday things of common objects in their natural context. So COCO is a large-scale dataset with 330,000 images, where 200,000 of them are labeled. And there are 1.5 million object instances and 80 object categories in total. So semantic segmentation have a lot of applications. On our left, it's an example of semantic segmentation in medical domain. It was a model on the Japanese societies of radiology technology dataset. So the right is heart and the green is the lung in the scanned image. Besides, we can also apply semantic segmentation for autonomous driving. As we can see from the image on our right, we can segment out the person the road, the tree, the buildings, etc. So there are definitely much more applications elsewhere. Well, that's what you will need for the semantic segmentation task in this lecture. And next, we will explore more model strategies on how we tackle this task.